Let's talk about sharpening my chainsaw in the field. We've got Troy here today. He's been sent in to make sure I'm doing things right and correct my mistakes. So Troy, welcome. Hello, everybody. So the first thing is I would uh, invest in a good stump vise. Looks very handy. And you can set it up on a stump to, to suit your height, and it'll hold your chainsaw nice and steady for you while you're trying to sharpen. Excellent. The basic tools you need for field sharpening is some files and some guides. And so here we have a flat file and guide for doing the depth gauges and rakers and a round file with a guide for sharpening the teeth. I do need a lot of guidance, so thank you. So that's where it fits, and it kind of sticks up above the cutter. The round file should be behind the raker on the front face of the cutter tooth. So here we have the guide attached to the round file. The round file should still be on the face of the tooth right behind the raker. Like we saw in the other image without the guide. Correct. Okay. The guide will keep you from filing too deep into the chain, and it also has indications on it to help you maintain the correct angle while you're filing. Two or three file strokes is a, just a good touch up. If you hit something or have more severe damage, you may have to file four or five times. So you do one side and then you flip and do the second. Is that correct? Yeah. The opposite. If there's a side that you find more awkward to file, ah. file that first. When you're tired, you're working on your strong side. Okay. I've got two strong sides, so that might not impact me, but that was a joke, Troy. <laughs> How much pressure are you putting down on this? Per stroke? Uh, you want to be very light with the pressure. If you have to push very hard to get it to cut, chances are your file is dull and you need a new one. And you really don't get very many sharpenings out of a chainsaw file. You should, you should swap them fairly regularly. All right, what is this? This is knocking the, the depth gauges down, also known as the rakers. It's the little bar in front of the chainsaw tooth and it actually determines how thick of a cut the tooth is taking out of the log. If you've sharpened your teeth Ooh. and it still isn't cutting, this may be the issue, is you may need to take the, the rakers down a little bit. The guide has a nice, wide, flat surface on it, so once, once you've filed it down, you'll feel a noticeable change in how much resistance you've got on the file. It'll just kind of skate across it. This looks complicated. I don't have a lot of time. Would this thing help me? Well, this is what's known as a two-in-one sharpener or file system. They make them for each different size of chain, and it's got guide bars on it, as well as a round file and a flat file. So it's going to sharpen your cutter and your raker down at the same time. So one motion. One motion does both. Uh, highly recommended because you only have one thing to keep track of for field sharpening. And you'll notice that the handles are angled where the files attach. It happens to be the same angle you should be filing at. This seems like a lot less stuff for me to screw up. I like this. So this still does one at a time, but just one, one motion. Okay. Yep, each side independently. And then you'll have to flip your file over. There's arrows on the handles that indicate which way you should be filing with it. But you'll notice that I'm using the chain brake. Ah. I'm activating the chain brake to hold the chain steady while I file, and then I'll release it and roll the chain forward. If you need to go find a new bar or a new chain, there's a nice little diagram on the side of every bar, and that diagram will give the saw shop every bit of information they need to get you the correct size of chain or bar. So here we're looking at boxes of files and the two-in-one sharpener. And it should be noted that each chain size actually has a different file that needs to be used on it. The boxes usually indicate what, what chain size to use. And then uh, you're going to want to pick up a handle. I love using just a, a little chunk of branch. That was honeysuckle, if I wasn't mistaken. Is that correct? That, that was honeysuckle. Yeah, They're, ironic. And they're so. fantastic because they got a little pith in the middle, so the file slides in very nicely. Excellent. Thank you, Troy. Infield chainsaw sharpening. We'll see you in the woods.